Welcome to Berry Telly. I grew up in a house full of animals. We had dogs, cats, hamsters, gerbils, sisters, rabbits, goldfish, everything. I live with my mate now and we have a couple of pets. Some of you have already met Louis. If not, this is Louis right here. But I want to tell you a little bit about one of my favourite pets. She's small and surprisingly hairy. She's very quiet, doesn't say much. I think that makes her a great listener. And we named her Susie. Our pet, Scorpion. There are nearly 2,000 species of scorpion. All of them have stings in their tails, but only 20% of those have poison that is strong enough to kill a human. Luckily, Susie isn't one of those. She is an emperor scorpion, and she is far too nice to hurt me. I hope. With their incredible survival skills, these little animals can live on some of the toughest environments on Earth. Researchers have even frozen scorpions overnight, put them in the sun, they've thawed out, and they've watched them just walk away. Now, recently I went to buy some food in the pet shop, and the woman asked me if I'd ever seen my scorpion glow. Not a lot of people have been asked that question. Apparently, scorpions glow fluorescent under UV light and scientists don't even know why. So, in the interest of science and entertainment, I borrowed a UV light, and Susie has very kindly offered her services. Let's make a scorpion glow. The moment of truth. Ready? Let's turn out that light. <laughs> How incredible is that? I mean, I loved Susie anyway. How could you not love? An Emperor Scorpion, but wow, I love her even more now I know she's got this party trick. Absolutely incredible and amazing to think scientists don't have a clue why they do this, why they glow. Thank you so much for uh, helping me explore the wonders of the glowing scorpion. Uh, who knows what we're going to be doing next. See you soon. I don't need you making noises in the background. Why not? It's going to be insane when you're editing it. It's that kind of sh that does my head in.